Hello and welcome to the third introductory screencast tutorial for Idrisi. And today I'm actually going to do something useful. I'm going to do some analysis. And you'll see that I've got the familiar image of uh, the NDVI uh, satellite data that I showed you in the previous screencast. Uh, just before I start, I'm going to show you a little trick because you'll notice that this window doesn't actually use up all of the available space. And there is a way to do that. If you look along the top, there's actually a function here called Maximize Display. If I click on that, it now magnifies out to fill up all the available space so we can see things just a little bit easier. Now this image I didn't mention in the previous uh, tutorial is actually a satellite image, so it's a bird's eye view of a mountain range. And this dark line here is actually the peak of the mountain range, it's the ridge and you've got the slope to the north and to the south because this is dividing uh, range. So what I want to do today is actually sample the NDVI in a transect line across the north slope up to the mountain peak and then down the southern slope. Now you're used to transect lines I'm sure you've used 30 meter tapes in the past when you were a student uh, but we can't do that obviously where we've got this large area we need something equivalent to a 30 meter tape that can cover much larger areas. And we can create our own transect line by using a built in function called digitize. And you'll notice up here on the toolbar that there is a function which looks like a crosshair. And if we click on that, we can actually generate points, lines, and polygons by drawing them directly onto our satellite image. And then Idrisi will save those, and we don't need to worry about georeferencing because the georeferencing will be sorted from the base image. It'll do that all automatically. So I'm creating a transect line, so I need to select layer type of line and give it a name. So I'm going to call it transect. OK. So once I'm happy with this, it's line, it's called transect. I'm going to click on OK. Now you'll notice that the mouse cursor has changed to a crosshair. And that's because Idrisi is waiting for me to select the first point of my transect line. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select a point on the northern slope north of this dividing mountain ridge. And I'll click. And you see that it's put a little marker there to show me the, the first anchor point. And now I'm going to select another point directly south on the southern slope of the mountain range and click again. And now you see that there's a line joining the two points, but it's a broken line which means it's waiting for me to click again and again. I can add as many segments, as long as they're line segments, as I like. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that being my transect line. So in order to tell Idrisi that I'm ready to move on, I actually click on the image anywhere I like, but I click with the right hand mouse button. And when I do that, it goes back to a normal mouse cursor. And instead of being a broken line, it's now a solid line. Now, in order to actually perform some analysis and tell Idrisi that that is the line I want to create as my transect line, I have to close this window down. So when I do that, it says, do you want to save changes? And of course, yes, I do. So I click on yes. So I've done that now. I've set up my transect line. So I need to go to analysis. And there is a function here called change and time series. And in particular, there's a function called profile. And we can create, this is actually a very useful function, we can create profiles through uh, time and through space. But obviously a transect line where I'm sampling regular intervals along that transect line is what I'm going to do. So I've selected over space. And it's asking me now for the vector file. In other words, it's asking me for the transect line. So if I click here, it's called transect, that's the name I gave it, so I select that. Now I want to know the name of the image that it actually uses that transect line to sample across. So I'm going to go back and select my NDVI image. It does give you the option, if you click here, to output the results to a file that you can import into something like Excel or another spreadsheet file, but for now I'm just going to be happy with a graph that generates, so I'll deselect that. So once I've put the transect line name and the image I want it to sample across, I click on OK. And there we are. 
this is now actually it's showing me the pixel values along that line from the north slope to the southern slope and so you'll notice that the line drops because we're actually going up in elevation here from the southern slope we're going up to the mountain ridge it's getting colder no vegetation so we've got very low values of NDVI then we go on the southern slope and it begins to rise there's more vegetation because it's getting warmer so this is the first bit of analysis that we can do and it's a very common function that we would use a GC to do is a profile through space it's very easy to do as you can see